What's up guys? Chris Chavez here, AndrewToMe.com. The Verizon Motorola Droid X X came out today and a good friend of mine since I was a little boy, he's on Verizon and he had an upgrade so uh, him and his dad actually went to the Verizon store and they uh, upgraded their NB2 or something. He'd been hearing a lot about Android and all of its wonders. He uh, figured it was time to, I guess, make the jump, seeing how the Moto X is going to be the best thing out on Verizon for a while. I was lucky enough to get to play with it. He let me unbox it and do my little video review on it and everything. I do think it's really cool. I've actually been pretty excited about the Droid X. I think it um, looks really, really cool. It's different. Nowadays, most phones just end up looking like the iPhone. Everyone's trying to copy, no one's trying to innovate or really change the way their phone looks. But the Droid X, I think they do a really good job. It looks really manly and kind of like a Klingon like phaser or something. I, I don't know, but I think it looks cool. I, I actually like the look of it a lot. Uh, there's some things I don't really like. Uh, the fact that it doesn't have a front-facing camera and Moto Blur comes stock with Moto Blur, with no possibility right now of getting rid of it simply because uh, Motorola, in a big slap to the face of the Android modding community, uh, they actually locked their bootloader so that even if you were to attempt to unlock it, it would like totally kill your phone. The phone self-destructs basically. The little red eye pops out and you'll hear that predator laugh. <laughs> little weird countdown numbers from Predator and beep, boop, 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 and it'll just explode. I think that's actually what happened in Santa Monica tonight. I think someone attempted to hack their Moto Droid X. So let's just get to the, my little unboxing slash review. Stick around for after because I'm going to talk more about um, why my hair looks okay. <laughs> I'm here at my friend Andrew Wu's house. Let's say hi, Andrew. Hi, <laughs> the video. <laughs> Unbox the Droid X. This is funny. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Is it funny? Ta-da! One flap. It's pretty easy, huh? It comes with just some of the standard stuff, the USB charger and the cable, USB cable. Oh yeah, the, one of the cool things about it is that it actually comes with a 16 gig uh, micro SD card, which is way better than what HTC gives you. And it does have the Moto Blur, so I guess this is 2.1 Moto Blur, so it's a little bit different than stock Android. Uh, you do have these little tabs here, but they're not um, like the see-through, transparent, like on a stock Android. Let's unlock it. But that's probably the coolest live wallpaper I have ever seen. I think it's so awesome. It's like an eye, and it's just staring at you into your soul. So yeah, you can see it is a lot different than, I guess, stock Android, but you don't really see stock Android much nowadays so most people probably won't even know what stock Android even looks like uh, there's a lot of moto widgets you can see some of them here or moto blur widgets oh let's show off some more widgets mm -hmm. Motorola widgets right here at the top uh, you have the airplane mode toggle those are like the little toggles on the um, like the settings widgets that are on sense etc if I choose messages widgets, it's going to pull messages from pretty much everything, Facebook, texting, um, emails and stuff. It's going to have like the unified inbox, which some people like, some people don't like. You have the uh, phone, jump straight to your phone app, stock Android UI and stuff. Uh, I do think it's kind of cool because it doesn't have the 30 frames per second uh, cap that the, the Evo has, so everything just moves really smooth and super quick and stuff. Oh, the bottom little thing here, when you swipe, it opens up these little droid buttons. They kind of look like the buttons from Predator, which is kind of cool. Forget that. Let's open up the app tray, and we'll see some of the apps that it does come with. It does come with the Blockbuster app. This was what the, um, the Cholo at the Verizon store was showing off. He was like, hey man, yeah, but you got that Blockbuster app, yo? <laughs> eh? And I'm like, mm, no, don't got the block. Blockbuster app. <laughs> Blockbuster app. But, um, I don't know. He, he'd never even seen an Evo before in his life. And he's like, you got a front-facing camera? Word? It's like, yes, sir. Uh, 3G mobile hotspot. You can see some of the icons. A lot of the icons have changed and stuff, so it's not really like your traditional Android UI. A lot of them kind of has like a cartoony look, but um, that's just modal blur. Kind of weird because the um, 60, it's not really moving at 60 frames per second on the Android or in the app drawer here, but... Oh, let's show off the camcorder and the camera stuff, because I think this is single-handedly probably the droid's best feature, is the fact that um, it does 720p video, 
but it actually, I think it does it. The quality is better than that of the Evo. The audio quality is a hundred times better on this though because of the uh, triple, triple microphones. You got one here, you got one in the back, right over there, and then you have one for noise canceling, I think, which is up here at the top, so. And I already shot some video. Let's see if I can get it. <clears throat> the screen is just awesome on here, but I think it's cool. It has this little 3D effect there. All right, so let's just take a gander. That's Andrew again. He's frozen. What is arm trick? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, and already the audio quality is amazing. The speaker on this is really good too. I think it's a lot better than on the Evo. Where is the speaker? Oh yeah, it's just a little slit right here. So it does come with swipe stock on, on it, which is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, there you go. It's not just in Samsung phones anymore, although Samsung would have you believe that. So I think that's pretty neat. The home screen does seem to be a little laggy. Uh, I know my friend Andrew was saying how um, he was experiencing a little bit of lag and some things kind of froze up on him and he had to wait like a few seconds so um, hopefully that stuff will be like um, remedied in, a, in an update, an over the air update soon. News. Oh, it comes with Need for Speed Shift DLNA. So let's check out the Blockbuster app real quick. This is the one that the Trello at the Verizon store was telling us about. Update required. Let's update it. This app is the reason I got a Droid X. Tyler, that's the Cholo from the Verizon store. Awesome. Left a comment. Yeah, I think this is actually an exclusive Verizon one because it's got the Vcast. I think, I'm not sure, but I think you can use the HDMI out to display these videos on your TV. If not, that would be kind of crappy. Um, I don't think it would be a DRM issue. I know on um, the Evo, they don't allow you to do a lot of stuff like that. Just kind of lame. Um, the whole point of HDMI out, it would be cool just to be able to show everything that you can get on your phone. This is the reason to get a Droid X right here to watch blockbuster movies on your phone. Let's check out some of the wallpapers that they have on here. Is there any different? Ooh, that one's pretty. I don't really see any girly ones though. That's kind of the thing. The thing about the Droid is I always felt like it's more of a man's device. I can't really see a girl being like, yo, I want that Droid X. It's got those predator buttons at the bottom. Freaking red eyeballs staring at me when I'm doing my makeup. Like, I don't think any chick would ever say, like, Oh, that phone looks pretty. I gotta have it. That phone looks pretty. I think I would want it. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, did, I did notice the, I take it, uh, right I take it front, back. Right in front of the right, so there's the pink, uh, red X cases. Uh, <laughs> they have pink cases? Yeah, oh, okay. Great, like, first thing I noticed. That'll, <laughs> that'll fem it up a little bit. I don't know. There wasn't even one flower wallpaper. Like, I didn't see one wallpaper with flowers in it. It does have like the best um, GPU out of almost any device. I think the only one to one-up it was the um, the Hummingbird processor of the, the Samsung S Galaxy S series. So That would just be my little unboxing and quick review of this. Um, let's just compare it one more time to the Evo. It is kind of bigger. Um, if you can see it, it's a little bit longer, but the screen size is the same. It is thinner though. Kind of reminds me of my. They, these are both at full brightness. Let's see if there's any color differences. Oh, they look pretty good actually. I don't know, you guys can decide. The screen is no slouch at all. I think it looks gorgeous, and I haven't really noticed um, it looking dingy or dark or anything really. Um, I think they did an awesome job. My Evo is kind of jealous, especially with the video quality on this one. So that's it. I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys. All right, so that was the Droid X. I think overall it's a great Android phone on Verizon. Uh, the best one you can get. So if you're thinking or if you're stuck on Verizon, you're thinking about upgrading to a new phone, whether it be the Droid 2, I know it's going to have a slide out QWERTY. Um, I think my personal preference, even being big on uh, QWERTY keyboards, I've been the biggest fanboy on QWERTY keyboards for the longest time, but I still kind of like these tablet devices that are coming out. Uh, the Droid X is really big and it's actually easy to type on. The haptic feedback is probably the best I've ever felt, and I've felt a lot of feedback, let me tell you. Moto did a great job with it. I think the build quality is really nice too. Um, solid, it felt like there's steel around the front and in the back, had the soft touch, rubber stuff. 
Uh, great, great, great work with that. Overall, the biggest setback would just be the lack of a front-facing camera and modal blur, and um, the fact that it's locked so that you can't hack it or anything. But yeah, like I said, I'm just happy that every carrier has like basically a super phone, and then it's Android, and it's pushing the whole OS and everything just forward. And I think it's great. And I'm just happy. I'm happy for everyone. So if you have a Droid X, we're all brothers now. Comments are awesome. I respond to all of them. If they're on AndroidMe.com, I don't really do it on YouTube. Tell me what you think about it. If you guys like the design, a lot of people don't. Um, tell me what you think is cool or what's a make or break or if you're going to run out and you're going to get it. Um, or if you're going to maybe wait till the end of the year to see if any, anything else cool comes out. So, I don't know. Let me know. I'm Chris Chavez. I'll see you guys next time.